What I'm going to demonstrate today is the ability to use a visual horse page as an insert in salesforce.com to customize your layout. So what we found is on the home screen, the My Tasks screen, as I scroll down here, that shows up. This is a great tool, but what it, it lacks the ability to customize what fields we show across the top, what order they show up in, and adding additional fields. So what we've done is build out the ability to do that using a Visual Force page. So in Salesforce, right within here, you can see under this task widget, we have a bunch of extra fields that show up here, such as priority, status of the actual task. We also broke it out to show my delegated tasks. And what my delegated tasks are, are the ability to show tasks that I created and then assigned to another individual within the company. Um, we have the ability to change the order of all of these different fields if we'd like, uh, all through a custom setting. And you'll also see this behaves very well, just like any other Salesforce object, and we can hover over different items and we're gonna get information on the mini page layout. Um, so what I can do now is show you actually how, after this is built, we can show, change the order and what fields actually show up here. And that's all done through a custom setting. I'm going to set up. Go into custom settings and find the my open task list column and click manage. Now we show all of the fields that we want to use and display, what order we're going to display them and uh, any hyperlinks or anything else like that. So if I go in and I look at the related to setting option, I click edit. Now I can see here, this is a user defined field that just says what the field is from a user perspective to manage it. This can be named anything. Active, if we want it to be used or not. So maybe you want to stage something or you have other thoughts, different fields you want to show. Your column heading, so the actual header of the column that shows up. Your API name, which is found in the standard properties under customized fields. And then a hyperlink. All you have to do is actually punch in the API name in there as well. And automatically will dynamically build that link. And then lastly, the order of where you want it to show from left to right, one through X. Now, if we go back and look and go back to that item, if we wanted to drill into a given record, we can simply you know, right click and open in a new tab or what have you, and the link automatically will bring us to that record. That's all I wanted to demonstrate for today. Thank you very much for your time.